Welcome to DowerChin.com. All right, today I'm going to be fulfilling a request for some of my viewers uh, about uh, doing some painting uh, on the Samsung Galaxy Note Pro 12.2. And the one I have right here, this is my 12.2, and I have my poetic case. And I'm going to be using the Wacom Bamboo Field Pen that uh, is sort of marketed for the Samsung Galaxy Note series. And what I'm going to do today, though, is we're going to look at a exclusive, and as currently the filming at the time of this video, uh, Art Rage had just come out just for Android, and Samsung has it as an exclusive for the Note 4 series uh, of phones. And uh, if you're a Note user, you can actually go to the Samsung store and buy it for about $5. So let's take a look at it. Uh, oh, I had it running before. Um, so once you're in the, in the program, you'll see that you're in a blank canvas. You have your set of tools on the side here. Now, if you have used ArtRage on the PC platform before, uh, or Mac, for example, it, it has a very similar look and feel. So you have a, a whole series of different tools you can use ranging from all different types, types of media. Uh, and that's one of the big things about ArtRage is that it is more of a natural media uh, style uh, painting program or drawing program uh, so it has various flavors of canvases to draw on and has more realistic uh, tools uh, and simulates that, that that and you can hide it with this right here and here is your kind of color swatches you can use you can hide them as well and choose some different ones i'll choose a black color for now and we'll use a pencil and looking at the top you have a very different set of options so the gear gives you tool settings for the current tool you're looking at. So if you were to say choose the uh, like a paint tool or like a technical pen or just the airbrush, uh, the tool settings gives you what the current setup is like. On the top over here, these are presets for the tool you're using. So for me, for this uh, airbrush I have selected over here, you have presets and you can create new ones with a new preset option here. So some big ones, some current ones that are set up for you, big and subtle, slow flow, and various different ones here. If I were to choose a, a um, like a, a paintbrush, for example, you'll see I'll have a different set of, uh, of presets available for types of um, well, media, thick, glossy, uh, dry clumps. And so, uh, and then uh, obviously each tool has those kinds of presets as well. See, so this one here for the roller has those. Uh, here is a brush size, tool size for percentage you can you can tap in if you want to. Um, then one of the very nice things about this tool uh, on on the Galaxy series is uh, under the the regular menu under the settings. There's a very nice one here. This is a setting here for stylus only mode. And what this does is with this selected on, uh, you uh, it doesn't register the touches uh, so that you can really truly rest your hand uh, on the canvas and not have it register uh, any type of paint marks. So I turn that on because um, I tend to be kind of sloppy when, when I'm when I'm uh, you know doodling around. I might like 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 to rest my hand on the screen, and this being on basically uh, removes the the chance of getting stray paint marks so that's kind of a really nice option you have there other things you have available at the top in the toolbar you have layers so you can create layers different blending modes for the layers uh, here you can bring in reference images and here you can trace images as well and here's something for color samples and i haven't really played around with that too much so i can't really talk about it very much but those are some of the options available for you so okay let's get to work so we will choose i'll just use a pencil first and i'll use black and this is the default setup that comes with it so we'll just start doodling so as you can, if you can see from the video here uh the pencil tool you know has various you know it's not, it's not a smooth smooth line it actually gives the kind of feel that you're kind of using maybe it's like a dark pencil on on, on, on a canvas of some of some kind or some sort of uh rough paper And the nice thing about you know the, this pen is it it, it feels really good to use. Uh, it's got a good heft to it, and it's a little bit less toothpicky when you when, when you're working. So so it, it is a nice nice thing to 
to have. The one thing it doesn't do, there is a button on the side, if you see this thing here, it doesn't really have any particular option uh, that that's function that's programmed in besides the tablet's basic functions for the for the top button. So it's which is kind of a shame. It'd be nice if I, I can use like an eraser without having to choose the eraser, but it's not that big a deal because like you can tap it over here and have it so you can kind of erase there if you want to. So it's kind of kind of nice. Um, you know, but too bad that you really couldn't program that in. So, we'll, all right, so that's, that's pencil. And that's very basic. Um, but let's take a look at some of the real nifty things you can do with this. And that's what it was like the paint tools. So if I use like a, see like a pinkish color here, uh, and I'm going to do a new layer. Uh, I'm going to move this, I'm going to move this down below this so that it's going to below, be below the pencil marks. And, uh, we'll just go and see what the paint does. So now there's nothing really special. You can kind of see some some stroke marks in there as if it was real paint on a particular canvas. I want to use a different setting. I'm going to, I'm going to go with um, dry varnish to see what that looks like. I'm going to go with like a blue color here and see what that looks like here. As you can see from here, you see the, uh, I got brush marks. And uh, it has pressure sensitivity built in and I can go really heavy or I can go light. So the faster you go, there is a bit of um, there is a it, it it actually keeps up pretty well. I'm actually very very impressed how well it keeps up, because uh, Art Rage can be a very heavy program because of the the simulations that it, that it does. All right, so we'll, we'll do some other crazy things. We'll use this little little uh, uh, kind of bottle tool here with some with some uh, some textures or what now. We'll use like a, a purple, kind of scatter some stuff around here. Uh, I'll use the this paint tube here, smoosh some paint around. You can see that, uh, if you can see from here, you can see that, uh, if I zoom in, there's sort of depth and shadow to, to it, which is kind of cool, because then you can take something like the this spatula tool here and kind of spread it out. Kind of just kind of meld it in together. And kind of, kind of uh, meld some colors together so it kind of mixes the colors it's really kind of cool so it behaves very much like a well if you were doing on real real media which is really really kind of a nice thing about art rage uh so it's kind of cool and you can see how here it, it kind of behaves like i have well there's depth you know there, there's, there's a clump of paint that i'm working with so i'll use yellow here do the same type of thing now this one's a bit this one is a bit lags a little bit more but it's not terrible it's actually pretty, you know, you, you, get, you can get used to it. Now it's going to spread this around. And the cool thing, once again, I'm, I'm working on a layer below, and I can basically hide the layer, show the layer, or I can basically um, change the trans the opacity of it. So if I don't want it to be too heavy, I can I can kind of play with that, which is really kind of nice. So I don't want to go too, too much into this. Uh, this is a, a pretty nice program. Uh, well, probably one of the better drawing programs you can get for an android tablet that actually has a pen so the so and right now like i said it's an exclusive for the samsung galaxy series but it's a very cool program uh my favorite favorite i've been, I've been kind of playing with a lot is sketchbook but uh sketchbook doesn't really have this the level of of natural media tools that that this has and so i do i actually am enjoying kind of messing around with this uh oh before i go um one of the things you can do here is if you do a new painting and i won't save this uh you have very uh, various options here and so one of them is the size now it defaults to 1280 by 800 now obviously the the note pro can go higher than that uh, and you can and you can change that so you can and you can as a maximum of 2048 by 2048 over here and i'll just leave this alone because i'm not gonna i'm not gonna mess with that right now uh the interesting thing you can do is there are presets for various different types of paper which is really kind of cool because you can basically decide like, oh, I want, uh, you know, a crumpled paper and this little swish swatch here gives you kind of a sample of what it would look like if you were to draw on this type of material. Paper fine, for example, is sort of like that. It gives you kind of like this textured look and uh, you can actually choose your own if you want as well. So you can go with grains here and you see all the various types of grains you can choose. I can say, okay, like, uh, you can see how it's kind of like this very rough pattern here. Uh, uh, for the for the type of paper, and you can you can you know change the roughness of it. You can change the color of it too. Say if you really wanted to work, say like more parchment style, you can go ahead and choose like oh, I want to look kind of like a beige color, and so there you have that. And you can change the metallic. So you can say you, if you want more of a metallic sheen to it, uh, this well, swatch gives you an example of how it would look like on the canvas you're working with. 
I hit reset. Uh, I'll just go with a preset, for example. I'll just go with crumpled. And I'll just hit OK. And so now I'm on my blank slate. And indeed, if I choose like this, uh, I'll just use my um, I'll use a paintbrush tool here. And I'll just choose like a uh, light blue color here, or so, you know, light blue. And we'll see that. Uh, works here so i mean it, it lags a little bit behind uh the the more complex the surface the more it lags behind but it's not awful uh it's something you have to get used to uh so it's not going to give you a really super immediate feedback but it works pretty close pretty well so there you have it a look at art rage for android on the samsung galaxy note pro 12.2 if you have any questions about this or any other things you want to see uh, please let me know and please subscribe thanks for watching